Twine Me this is Tisa Curry here watching Pokecast. Today's movie review is on Age of Dinosaurs. Now, when I saw the poster, I was like, oh, yes, another dinosaur movie. Got to watch it. I always love watching creature features. Sharks, especially. Then it goes to, you know, dinosaurs, just because you never know. And when I read the description of this movie, it's like, uh, okay, why not? Well, this is the best way to explain it, okay? The writer, director, whoever came up with the movie, is just sitting there drinking some wine, thinking to her or himself, I'm going to use a her, I want to make a movie. Okay, what are the things that people like these days? I know a father and daughter relationship in the movie. They will be the main people that will be probably chased through the, the entire movie, almost killed a hundred thousand times, but everybody around him will be the ones who die. Dinosaurs. I have to have some dinosaurs in there. And let's use the, a movie that I really liked as a kid. Yes, Jurassic Park. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Wait, Jurassic Park. I can't call it that. No, 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 no. Let's call it Age of the Dinosaurs. That way, this whole movie will be about a dinosaur park where people will get to experience once it opens. That's probably the best way of how I feel that this, uh, this person did it, in all honesty. I think that's how, that's just literally how it feels like. The last part, of course, is let's not only have people eaten in the movie, but let's have a ton of people eaten in the movie, you know? Just like how this picture shows right here. Like in the old cartoons, you know? Okay, that canary's gone. Stamp. Because that's how it felt like. This is literally a B-movie clone of Jurassic Park. And surprisingly, I haven't really seen a whole lot of these. Most people, when they make a dinosaur movie, go off of uh, King Kong, uh, Journey to the Middle, Journey to the Center of the Earth, um, A Lost Island, Time Travel, but they usually don't copy Jurassic Park because they know that when they do, it's it's just bad grounds. True, there has been some other movies where people have used um, dinosaurs that they have grown from DNA and stuff like that, but not as closely followed to Jurassic Park's main uh, theme as this one has really done. I mean, the whole movie is about exactly that. You have some scientists at a amazing uh, uh, genetics research company that is able to help burn victims be able to give them something that actually regrows their skin. That way they don't have to go through life looking all scarred. Help old men and you know, people who can't walk regenerate their spine and tissue and all that for they can be able to walk again some major things but why not go a step further why not make let's see if I can quote this right from the movie cool um, dinosaurs that way we can sell them to museums to zoos why not to your front lawn that way dinosaurs can be a thing but how are, we, how are they going to be able to control all these dinosaurs? Will they try and use sound waves to control these dinosaurs? And of course, apparently, Allosaurus, Cersei's, Cersei, whatever, <laughs> um, didn't work too well. Then, this, you know, just after, I don't know, those were, those were definitely not Velociraptors, but, um, appear to be part of the raptor family are what really break out and cause all the mayhem, uh, you know, type thing. And of course, 
you know, you have the father daughter who are, you know, he's trying to be this loving father to his daughter who's just like, hi, dad. Go away. You know, so he brings her along to see this whole presentation. She kind of goes out. And then all chaos breaks out and people start dying because the dinosaurs are hungry. Because the only dinosaurs he's showing at this presentation are meat eaters. Yes, let's not bring out the the small herbivores that wouldn't eat your guest. No, let's bring all the meat eaters out. Aliosaurus, you know, raptors, uh, uh, pteranodons. I think that it was pteranodon. I forget. <laughs> um, and things like that. It's like, yes, let's bring the most dangerous ones and hopefully this system, which is not fully working, will work. Yes. That does some luck. And then of course, you know, to add some mystery and funness to it, let's make sure that the bullets from regular guns cannot hurt dinosaurs because their skin is too thick. Now, if the skin is supposed to be relatively as thick as an alligator, they should have had weapons ready to take these down and everything. I think the, the, the funniest part about this whole clone thing of Jurassic Park is that there's a scene in the movie that the daughter's being chased. She comes into a uh, research room with a huge table, huge table in the middle. She runs around to the other side, pushes herself up against it, and tries to wait for the raptor to walk the other way. No, I'm not kidding about this. This actually happens in the film, instead of it being the kitchen. And as the raptor comes around, she looks over, sees an open um, door, rushes into it as the raptor's trying to get her, closes the uh, bulletproof window door, saving her from the raptor actually happens in the film. They actually recreated a scene from Jurassic Park in the movie. And just a lot of other things. Like you'll like you'll have like certain characters which are friends of the family all of a sudden it's like run I'll stay here and I'll make sure that I give you guys time. Leave my family <laughs> Okay, done with that guy. I'm not kidding. They, they actually do that in the movie. I mean, the, people could just die, die, and die, die, and die, and die. And at the end of the movie, when you think maybe the dinosaurs are dead, they don't show you. They don't show the movie actually any. All they show is the father and daughter. They start focusing. Father and daughter survive. Now they're going to go and live happy ever after in a dinosaur movie that which we are hoping to see if the dinosaurs actually survived to see if there's gonna be a sequel to warn us of impending doom or if um the dinosaurs all of a sudden do that last bit of ah uh, thing another funny thing about the movie i thought was kind of remind me of jumanji almost uh because everything happening all of a sudden the warehouse where they have more dinosaurs suspended in goo, the dinosaurs all break out and started doing a stampede. Now, it's unique because the, uh, inside the building with everything going on, it's all chaos, hectic, and wah, you know, type thing going on. But they're very organized. They actually follow the scent. And we're talking Triceratops. I think there's at least a Brachiosaurus, really small one. Uh, more raptors, more aliosaurs, more pteranodons, more or less. All of them follow the scent of the previous dinosaurs that escaped. All, all the ones that were not, you know, the ones that escaped and went after the, the father and daughter. And they actually run through town. And there's actually a scene where you see cars going down this way. You see the dinosaurs going this way. And you see the car keep on going. You see the dinosaur go right over it, but the car keeps on going. They actually didn't take the time to smash the cars. Great stampede. Great, absolutely amazing stampede. Worst I've ever seen in a movie. Um, but 
they just kept on copying different things and then they would have different scenes where um, the rules would fall in you know they'll have like an epic slow motion scene and then something bad happens to where the story can continue now because the rules dictated that they could not end the movie yet I don't know where all these rules come from or you know when you have too much so that is the age of the dinosaurs is it worth watching yes because it will make you laugh um, a lot of a lot of funny moments where you just got like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe they're doing this. Um, yeah, I know I put some spoilers in this and all that. I do apologize, but I had no choice. I had to explain some of the funny parts. Just how I'm just kind of disappointed in the movie, but at the same time, it's one I would actually watch again with a friend because the movie made me laugh. Um, if it was something originally new, then yes, it would be a movie that I probably wouldn't be tearing into pieces like this, but just CGI a hand puppet that I mean come on lamb chop looks more real than that puppet and yeah so if you guys are looking for a great B movie clone of Jurassic Park this is probably the only one I've ever seen that actually does uh, copy the movie quite regularly Yes, it is worth watching. There is uh, blood and gore in this one. So if you don't like the kids watching blood and gore, not one for them. But it is fun to watch because it's so bad. It just makes you want to laugh. So that is, yeah, a great uh, Jurassic Park clone, Age of the Dinosaurs. Hope you guys have enjoyed this review. This is Tisa Curtis saying ciao and sayonara.